All right, all right. Welcome again, people, to MG Sports TV. Uh, some good news, actually. Some good news. Um, tentatively hoping that there's some credence to this news, in particular. I will give you guys the update on that. Re, as you can see, the title: um, Lamar Walker in Russia. Now, I was surprised, but this actually, this report was was, was was this was reported a few days ago. Um, so I'm gi I'm going I'm going to give you guys the details and also what is likely to happen still not sure as yet but we're going to get in some details surrounding it um to see the intricacies of this and what is likely to happen but as you guys know in recent times um president north end was heavily linked with lamar walker but we all know how the acquisition of work permit is like going to a um, England, re footballing concerns, Jamaica and, and, and England footballing concerns. But nevertheless, I'm um, the 22 year old, I think it's 22, yeah, the 22 year old um, young Jamaica, young attacking midfielder, Lamar Walker, um, seems to be, uh, be, seems to be heavily involved with a club in Russia. Now, this report, no, before we get to that, this report, no, this season. Lamar Walker has 22 appearances, only one goal and four assists. Not the best season, I would most definitely say, but if you're if you're looking for a player, that's kind of on, on the low side in regards to returns. But as you know, the young um, former Clarendon College player do have a lot to offer, re really its age and also its quality. Now, this information, this report came out uh, out of a, a, a news outlet from Russia. Um, it's Solyanka lineups um, slash um, Sorare. Sorare. Uh, they said the Jamaica national team midfielder Lamar Walker is currently training with FC Kimiki. FC Kimiki, K H I M K I. Um, that's a team in the first division in Russia. I was really really surprised when I saw it. I was really really surprised when I saw it. I kind of searched. A quite a few other places to see if I see anything linking Lamar Walker um, but you know one of these they call them ITKs it's coming from one of these ITKs account but relatively the, the, the thing about it is that there's, a, there's not a lot of these accounts specifically from the Russian league um, so but definitely from what I've seen from them re um, reports they have been sending out some very credible reports so read them credibility yes a bit of credibility based off the reports that they have made but the story in particular to lamar walker is one in which raised an eyebrow and i'm wondering what is happening with that no i'm not sure um i don't live in russia but I'm, I'm apparent apparently they are our media report media outlet inside of russia similar to like what i do where i get the information and i put it out i'm not the big media outlet i'm not the ESPN, I'm not the TVJ, I'm not the cleaner, but when I do report, um, put out some level of reporting, um, there is high credi um, um, credibility being backed behind that because I would have gotten the information um, um, first hand. So um, my assumption and um, my hope is that this would have been um, coming from, they would have been high, high credi credible and they would have seen this action by themselves. And in all aspects, this would be a very, very good. This would be a, a great thing for him. Um, this would be a great move for him if this is to happen. Um, um, Jim Ricky said, yes, fresh team over Turkey side. Fresh guys, like, people, just, please do smash the like button. This won't be a long one. It won't be a long show, people. It um, won't be a long show. Um, Teddy Lee said, in the Premier League, if yes, that's better than the USL. 100%. It is actually the, the Russian Premier League. Um... Whoa, the person, whoa, Preston North and yeah, he was heavily linked with Preston North End. But there is not definite ties where it would connect him to Preston North End because I searched quite a lot of places just the same and there, was, there wasn't a lot of evidence surrounding him at Preston North End. No, this report, this was reported on the 20th of December and we are a couple, a couple days ahead now, uh, over a week ahead now. So um, my assumption is that something could be happening and sometimes you know you never see smoke without fire this can look like an itk move where someone or the agent putting out a report making one of these um outlets media outlets put out a report to garner some level of interest for his client this could be the case 
but also there could be strong strong facts backing this report and as i said it's going to be very very interesting to see um what comes out comes from this one uh so i'm i'm most definitely looking out to see what will come away from this one fresh got big up um people don't tell us uh, this won't be a long one just a short one robson said yeah, i saw the hope and something is happening um fresh god said robson said yeah he posted something that he was in turkey recently oh i never knew that um what was that post about fresh god Rob Smith said on his Instagram, he was somewhere, wasn't sure though, seems like Europe. Oh, so well, seeing this report now could be a bit of confirmation that there's a strong possibility that there's, there, there could be something really, really happening behind the scenes. I'm saying, I said, okay, Fresh, I hope Turkey. Um, Fresh God said, Sign Hall, the move isn't completed. He was also in Turkey recently, so we will have to wait and see where he goals no i'm not sure maybe he's doing some crossover i'm not sure i'm really not sure but as i stated um this report has sta stated that he's in he's training with fc um Kima akimiki that's what the report that, that's what the report said that he's training with fc um kimiki i'm um, kimki k-i-m-k-i k-h-i-m-k-i fc kimki um why say kimiki i don't know why my apologies on, uh, my apologies on that people so hopefully there is a lot of credence to this hopefully there's a lot of a, a, a facts surrounding this i would love to see it because this is me this will mean that we have a lot more players moving into europe and that's a that, that that's brilliant that is 100 brilliant and that's the only thing that we, we want for jamaican football to have a lot of our majority of our players playing inside of europe and that is the direction that we want Jamaica football to go so i'm hoping that this is factual i'm really, really hoping that this, this something pulls through for him um there's also a few other reports of other players i haven't gotten solid details on them as yet re-europe so most definitely i will do a video on that one also um let me see in the comment section rob Simon said don't you don't you have to fly into turkey to get to russia no not sure not sure no, rob smith i'm not sure could be could be no could be i would think so i i would think so i would i would want to think so i would want to think so but as i said people we will see it will come to light and we will get more information on that one we will get more information on that one so let's see how well um the ties with him and russia are are what's happening with that so anyways people i won't say long as i stated people it's just a short video just a quick snap update um, hopefully you guys are doing good and i'll see you guys later people um i should schedule a, a stream for later read the premier league you don't know premier league matches are playing tomorrow and i also have to do the preview show for the premier league so big up people massive massive respect mg sports tv people don't forget our sponsors sub sports people um support them um you can walk into the office 138 mirrored avenue at Denby, maypen clarendon maypen and playpen clarendon one done and also um <laughs> and also you can check them out on instagram at sub sports 4 big up people mg sports was dropping some information people dropping some details um apart apparently let me say it again apparently rumors are that um lamar walker regular boy midfielder attacking midfielder 22 year old is in russia training with um fc kimki uh um from the russian division um, um, premier division we'll see how this one goes people we'll see how this one materialize and let's see what fruits will bear from this report big up people massive respect we're out boom <laughs>